Okay, I just want to um, show you how you would use the memory um, functions in your calculator, which are these uh, red letters up here. Uh, just because I've I've talked about them a bit um, in my videos, and just in case anybody was wondering how to use the memory function. Um, so I want to go ahead and save uh, root 17 plus 2 pi into memory A, and also sine of pi over 6 minus uh, two, uh, the tan of pi over 3 into memory B. I've just made, made these up, this isn't a real question, um, it's just to illustrate that I'm going to save this number into A, this number into B, so that I can then work out this sum really easily. So on my calculator I'm going to type in root 17 uh, plus 2 pi, which comes out with this random awkward number, 10.406. So rather than having to write all that down, I'm going to save it into memory A here. Um, so to do that, um, you press answer, and then we want to store it, S-T-O, in A. So I'm going to press shift, and then this RCL button here, and that will then come up with store at the top. Um, and that's going to go in A. And you know if you've done it right if it says it's gone to A. So we can double check by pressing alpha, because that's the red one, and A, and equals, and there's that 10.4 um, stored into A. So I'm then going to do sine of pi over 6 uh, minus tan of pi over 3. Um, which in this case is a third, uh, but is also that minus 1.23 number. So I'm, again, I'm going to save that into uh, memory B. So hopefully you might remember how to do that now. We press answer, shift, store, B this time. So that's gone into memory B. And so if I want to work out this um, sum here, so that was three lots, so three times memory A, so alpha A, plus the square of B, so B squared. So all I need to then do is just write out that one single answer, so that's 32.7 uh, to three significant figures, which we're going to assume that it is. So hopefully that's helped you out. That's for um, a Casio calculator, which is the common calculator that most of you guys use. Um, there you go.